Hi, and welcome to Enchantment of Eternity's review for The Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 4, Service. This video is part of a series of videos where I review episodes of The Walking Dead, so I'll have to give a spoiler warning uh, for The Walking Dead up to Season 7, Episode 4. If you haven't seen up to this point, you may not want to watch this video, otherwise some things may be spoiled for you. So here we go again with another Walking Dead review that fans who love The Walking Dead will hate because my current view of the show is less than stellar and I'm always going to be honest about how I feel and the reason I keep watching the show is because I want it to be good and I'm hoping it will be good again and I haven't given up hope that it will be good again. So this is going to be a really quick review as I don't really have that much to say about this episode uh, because this episode was pretty much exactly what I expected it to be. Everything that happened in this episode was exactly what I expect would would happen. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing because I can see uh, what they're setting up for uh, and uh, they need episodes like these to set up for it and establish uh, the new order of things. And had they skipped an episode like this, I would call foul and say that they're rushing things. However, that doesn't make this episode any more interesting knowing that because it was far too predictable. Uh, even when I heard it would be 90 minutes, I knew it would be a very slow and mostly wasted 90 minutes that does very little to push the story forward and ends with Rick and the group still being subservient to the saviors, which is exactly what I knew would happen. That being said, there were some interesting aspects to this episode I quite enjoyed, such as the storyline about the missing guns and the fake out, where I thought, uh, I thought at least, that Rosita had one of them, uh, so that they'd never find them, but it turns out Spencer was hiding them the whole time. What a douchebag. And it was interesting seeing Rick have to explain to everyone that Negan's in control now and seeing their reaction. And it was interesting seeing how beat Rick is now. However, overall, I found the Michonne scenes with her sneaking out to the car, shooting walkers or hunting deer or whatever, boring as fuck. And when this episode ended with it, with her again on the car, it was literally sighing. I was like, ugh. Not this bull crap again. However, I also like how this episode seems to be establishing the rebellious side of Rosita, and it seems they may actually make her relevant to the show. And they're also setting up for this conflict with Spencer and Rick, uh, where Spencer's turning into an even, even bigger douchebag. Really, fuck that guy. But this could be interesting. We also got uh, that bit about Maggie being dead, but I knew Father Gabriel was bullshitting. But I was actually thankful that they explained that uh, she, you know that she was in fact alive in this episode and didn't try to do another silly fake out to make us think uh, that she was dead. Uh, so uh, yeah, I gotta give the show credit for that. Uh, they didn't say where she was, but I'm assuming she's at Hilltop, and of course the previews for next week's episode confirm that she is, and also explains why Sasha wasn't in this episode, because she's at Hilltop too. It's funny that Rick wouldn't risk hiding guns from Negan, but has no problem with hiding Maggie. Uh, where the, you know, the consequences for him finding out uh, that he's hiding Maggie would be just as bad as him hiding the guns, but whatever. Uh, and I did love the line where Negan said, Oh, I just slid my dick down your throat and you thanked me for it. That was particularly evil, but it just makes me all the more eager to see Negan get his comeuppance. And I continue to be unimpressed by Negan, as I still feel he comes off as too over the top. I would describe him as... I've, so I wouldn't describe him as a particularly great villain, but he's not a particularly bad one either. So, in this episode, they talk about striking back at the Saviors and say that they could get Hilltop to help out. Uh, Rick rightfully points out that that's still not enough people. However, it seems they may think differently once they learn about the kingdom. And eventually, Dwight and some of the others will turn on Negan. And so, I really can't wait for all that. But right now, the show is just mostly boring.
Sorry. Um, I'm starting to think even more that I'd appreciate this show much more if I just binged it rather than watching it week to week. I think uh, watching it week to week uh, really hurts it, so I'm seriously considering doing that for the second half of the season because I personally think I would enjoy the show better that way. But I'll ride out this half of the season and see where it goes first. So my rating for service out of 10 is a 6 good. Uh, this episode was fine. It was it was fine. Some parts were quite enjoyable. And I like where uh, they're heading with things. But it was so slow. The whole thing wasn't filler. But it had a lot of filler in it. It most certainly didn't need to be 90 minutes long. And it was ultimately too predictable to be all that interesting to me. So that's it for my review of Service. Be sure to check back here as I continue to cover episodes of The Walking Dead. Also be sure to check out my channel for many more videos on shows like Game of Thrones, Star Trek, Humans, and more. And be sure to subscribe so you can keep up with all of that. Thanks a lot for watching.